Eyewitness News reporter Blake Hanson was just outside of court during Roof's appearance. He is live in Charleston right now where the city there is holding a vigil. Blake. Yeah, and a couple times today, the crowd was so large in front of the church here that it actually closed down the road in front. There are your fair share of weekend visitors, but many are lifelong Charleston residents who have come to share memories about the nine who died. Snapshots have a way of taking us to what's there, but also taking us to people we can't be with again. He was the last one I spoke to after I left the church. Clifford Jones was at Emanuel AME along with State Senator Clementa Pickney and eight others moments before the shooting happened Wednesday, a night that will play over and over again. At times I wish I was there because I feel like I would have done something. Across town, the St. Andrew Regional Library is frozen still, with only memories of its manager, 31-year-old library employee Cynthia Hurd, the sister of former North Carolina State Senator Malcolm Graham. Miss Cynthia was always very excited about the, the children and the Easter egg hunt. And... But the snapshots have a way of helping us remember until we meet again. And you loved her? <laughs> And she's with Jesus now. We'll see her again one day. Yeah? We shall overcome. Prayers and sympathy for all of those impacted. And right now, a vigil is going on just a few blocks away at TD Arena. That is a city organized vigil. There are also more planned throughout the weekend. I like that vigil focused on the victims, as it should be, but I understand we've just heard from Ruth's family. Yeah, in a statement through the public defender for Roof, the family said that they extend their deepest sympathy and condolences to the families of those victims. Live in Charleston, Blake Hanson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.